You may remember that I ended this video by recommending moving up and down using counters in combination with the J and K motions, like this. But using counts in combinations with uh, motions requires to type too much, so we're gonna see how we can create some custom bindings to make moving more effective. The way that you add custom bindings in Visual Studio Code theme is very straightforward. So we're gonna go to the command panel with uh, Control Shift P or Command Shift P, depending on your operating system, and then we're gonna do preferences. And now we're here with type theme. That's gonna filter our preferences for only theme. And now we do normal, so dot normal. Now you can see here that we have uh, normal mode key bindings and normal mode key bindings from recursive. One that we're interested in is the second one. We're going to click on edit in settings.json and you can see here that I have a bunch of custom mappings already. So the first two ones are the ones that we want. But let's take a closer look and see whether we understand what's going on. So what we have here is an array of custom mappings and each custom map is just a JSON object that has two properties before and after. What it means is that what you type, it is before and then after it's what it expands to within Visual Studio Code Bay. So this means here that whenever you type uppercase J, this code beam is going to expand that to 5 and J, which means go down 5 lines. Likewise here we have the same thing, capital K, it's going to expand to 5 and lowercase k, which means go 5 lines up. And this is how simple it is to create custom bindings in Visual Studio Code Bay. Sometimes creating custom mappings can override useful functions within Beam, and this is the case of uh, J, capital J. Capital J, normally you use it to join lines, so you join one line with the next one, and that's a functionality that I use from time to time, so it's nice to keep it. When I have them here, is that I have remapped it to leader J. So leader is a special key that you use in Beam to define user mapping. It is a completely separate namespace where a user is supposed to create their custom mappings. So in this case, I have remapped uppercase J to leader and lowercase J. Uh, the leader key in itself, you can customize. So by default, it is a backslash to do backslash J. But I have customized it to spacebar because it's much easier to reach and it doesn't have any function within Beam. So yes, I type uh, space J, in this case because it's mapped to uppercase J, it's going to get uh, those lines joined. If we search for leader, we will be able to see that here I have customized my leader key to be a space. That's how I do it. Just like you can do custom mappings in normal mode, that's just what we did in the previous example, you can also do them in the other modes within B. So for instance, here we have my insert mode custom key bindings, and you can see how I have customized how I get back to normal mode within uh, this code beam. So instead of using escape or instead of using Ctrl C, what I'm doing is that I'm using uh, J and K. So it's you just type quickly J and then K, and that is how I get out of this remote. It's super convenient because both of those keys are just under my right hand in the home. They're like a premium place in my keyboard, and it's very helpful because that's something that you do a lot going back from insert mode to normal mode. So that's a great binding that you can also include in your configuration. We're not going to go much deeper into custom bindings in this uh, session, but in future videos we will see a lot more if we dive deeper into custom bindings and configurations and what it means to be non-recursive. Until then, have a great day!